A ceremonial match kickoff by top United Nations official in South Sudan and a government representative ushers the stage for a final football match between two local teams which have been competing in a month long tournament as part of a Sports for Peace effort. <laughs> Fans cheered their teams at the football match, played in commemoration of the United Nations Day. The mood was electric, and for the excited fans, the day being commemorated under the theme United for Peace was quite memorable. I want to say to my elders, to my brothers and sisters, let them maintain and be free because I know the peace, we are going to have it. Running off, this fan continued to cheer her team. Other fans commemorating the day encouraged their leaders to maintain peace. It's actually a very big day for, for us, South Sudanese. Since we are fed up of war, we need to be, we need to be in peace. You know, we need to be in peace. That's why we are having this match. That's why you see our colleagues are coming here. We are all brothers and sisters. So we are very happy that we are here today. If uh, our leaders could uh, listen to us and, and drop guns, you know, drop the firearms and all this, so we could be a very good nation. Younger female students also had a chance to show their skill in a friendly game locally known as Boru Boru or dodgeball. This game is mainly played by the girl child and it was an opportunity to help highlight the importance and participation of the girl child and women in the community. We want to, to, to say that together we, we, can, we can live together in peace despite our differences and we also want to say that women or young women have a very important role to play uh, when it comes to peace building, peacekeeping and peacemaking. Speaking at the occasion, the head of the United Nations said that the United Nations was committed to ensuring peace in the country and would give its support to protect and help South Sudanese. We need peace. A peace needs trust and those who signed the agreement were once friends, many of them, but are now many of them enemies. And the lack of trust amongst them is the biggest obstacle they need to overcome. And building that trust and confidence is a task for us all. So on this UN Day, I would like to reassure you that the United Nations is committed to building a durable peace, protecting civilians, and building the economic future of South Sudan through the various agencies that are represented today in the tents. A government official speaking at the event said the government is keen to usher peace in the country. It is important to reiterate here that the theme of this year's celebration for the UN founding has coincided with what is the motive of the people of South Sudan and their government, and that is making peace a reality for all. Winning teams were cheered as they were awarded their trophies. As part of the ceremony, various UN agencies showcased their work at an exhibition which ran alongside the main event. Musicians also sang peace songs with crowds cheering and singing along. Peace. 